Welcome back to my kitchen. The cooking streams are back. They're new and improved. Hopefully this quality is looking better than the last time you guys saw me in my kitchen. I found this recipe on TikTok. It is from a user named Labco, and I've never made this before, but it just looked so good and it's seasonal for fall, so we're gonna try making it today. We're gonna be making a sweet potato leek soup. So I've got all my ingredients laid out, you guys. We're all ready to go. And I've already washed my vegetables as well. So we've got a bowl of sweet potatoes, There's four. We've got two leeks. Look at these. Look how big these are. Two leeks, which if you guys don't know what leeks are, they're pretty similar to onions. Um, or scallions. Uh, we've got some fresh thyme and some fresh bay leaves as well. We've got some butter. I'm using some unsalted butter. We're not gonna be using the whole stick, but I just have it sitting out. Got some vegetable broth. I've got some white wine. I'm using Chardonnay. I've got a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cumin and four cloves of garlic. Also, we're obviously gonna be using salt and pepper, but that's kind of obvious. We're gonna be trying it at the end, and hopefully it's good, because this is, this is what I'm eating for dinner tonight, okay? <laughs> the first thing we have to do is just prep all of the ingredients. So like I said, I already washed all the vegetables, but um, leeks are pretty dirty, so I'm going to cut them up a little bit more, and then I'm actually gonna wash them again. Oh, I should've sharpened my knife. Ooh, I should have sharpened my knife. You know what, I didn't. So I'm just gonna cut off the root here. And my knives are very dull, so I'm gonna apologize in advance for that. And then I'm gonna be cutting off these leaves as well. It kinda looks like a hand. But listen, we, we're not using these, these leafy parts, we're just using basically these, these stem parts here, so. Listen, I don't wanna hear it about how dull my knife is. I don't wanna hear it. So now that I've got my little leeks, I am going to then cut them in half this way and I'm gonna wash them again because they're very dirty. Honestly, I've never cooked with leeks before to be honest, so. I'm actually gonna fill up a little bowl of water and just put them in there. Check this out, you guys. See, look, this is a perfect example. I don't know if you guys can see that, but some dirt inside there. All right, I'm just gonna let these leeks just sit in there for a little bit while we do the next step, which is we are going to be peeling these potatoes and then cutting them up into small pieces or like medium pieces. All right, I already washed these as well, just so you guys know. This is my favorite thing to do. How fun is this? That's pretty good. Look at this. Look at the way this is shaped. Just enjoy the sweet ASMR of me peeling potatoes. Okay, we've got them all peeled. Look at this one. Don't worry you guys, I'm a professional. Oh my God, my tower of potatoes is getting so high. They're falling off the top. Okay, we're almost done. God, it's getting so tall. You can like see it at the bottom now. Stacking on top. Ooh, okay. I'm like trying to fit these in anywhere. Look at this. <laughs> I love sweet potatoes too. They're like one of my favorites. 
So I'm very excited to try this because I'm a big fan of like any kind of potato soup. Like I love loaded potato soup, like baked potato soup or potato leek soup. So sweet potato leek soup. Honestly, I don't know you guys, it sounds so good. I'm really excited to try this. I feel like it's such a nice fall soup too. I'm a big soup fan, so hopefully you guys like soup as well because I have recently discovered there's a lot of people who don't like soup and I don't quite understand that. I'm gonna be honest. I just don't quite understand it. It's just like the perfect meal, especially when you're like not feeling well. It is the perfect thing to eat. This is the last of the potato before we move on to the leeks. Okay, last pieces. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Oh, <gasps> it just smell. <laughs> All right, I'm going to really try and get inside these leeks a little bit. Just wanna really make sure these are clean. Okay, here's one. We're just gonna be thinly slicing these leeks. I like that is good. I'm gonna put them on this plate over here. Oh, everything is gonna be blended by the end which I'm excited because I just got a hand mixer to do it and I'm excited to try it. Honestly, I'm a little nervous though. Do we need to get you some contacts? Um, no, mm -hmm. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I think so. Damn, I'm so sensitive to like any type of like onion type thing. I can't believe this make my eyes water right now. Check out all these leeks, looking delicious. And after this, we only have one more ingredient to prep and then we're going to start cooking it. So I'm very excited because prep is my least favorite part. So we've got four cloves of garlic over here and we're just gonna be mincing it. Oh, there's one more thing we have to do. I was wrong. This is not the last step. But this thing's easy, so don't worry. I caught it. <laughs> okay, there's no room for that fourth one. So let me mince these. And then I'll add the fourth one in. The actual last step is we're gonna take this time off the, the stems. One tablespoon of the leaves. One tablespoon of the leaves, okay. I have a little like de-stemmer thing. Should I use it? I don't know if it works very well, you guys. I've only used it a few times because it's not like the best, but basically you like pull, you pull the sprig like through. Here, let me rinse these off too. And it's supposed to like get them all off the stem for you. But ugh, I've used it before and it's like, it's not the best. Let's see. I feel like this is a good one. Oh my God. It kind of ate that up. I promise you guys I've used it before and it has not worked out well. I think thyme is just like a, a particularly good one to use with this. So we need a little bit more. Oh my God. It's working so well. Wow. Oh, what time is it? Anyone know? The literal first message in the chat after I said that was ew. <laughs> okay, that's about good to me. 
I kind of miss the ambiance of like my laptop, like taking off a flight. What about you guys? Mm-hmm. All right, so we have got all of the ingredients prepped. We've got our big, tall tower of sweet potatoes. We've got all of our chopped leeks, garlic, and thyme. And now it's time to start actually cooking it all. This is the moment. We have all been waiting for you guys. Woo! We have all been waiting for this. I'm gonna move my plate. Wait, just watch. Everything's gonna fall off this. No, I got it. No, I don't. All right, I have to get. I have to get another plate. That's good. All right, I'm gonna start moving this over here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter in the pot. I'm gonna turn my heat on. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. And for the butter, I'm gonna have to cut this really quick. Oh my God, it's so melted. It is very melted. All right, the butter is all melted. So now I'm gonna be adding the leeks, garlic, thyme, salt, pepper, and I'm also gonna be adding nutmeg and cumin, okay? So I'm gonna add all these leeks. First. Oh. Add some salt and pepper. I need to show you guys this. I like a lot with pepper. I'm adding the thyme and the garlic. I need to see how much cumin and nutmeg. Let's see. Half a teaspoon. And a fourth a teaspoon. Okay, so honestly, it's just a little bit. I like to I like to eyeball things. That's why I'm not very good at baking. So I'm just going to eyeball a little bit of those seasonings in here. Look at that. I'm gonna be adding this. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I want that much. <laughs> I'm shaking. It's the Blair Witch Project of cooking. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of scary cooking when you don't know what the next step is. Like, oh, look. Yeah. hold on, I gotta add this cumin too. Okay. Hold on, my cumin's a little bit old, so, ooh. Okay, a little bit of this. I forget how much they said to add, but. A, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, a fourth a teaspoon. It's not even coming out. Here. No, it's coming out, it's coming out. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, what, uh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Ew. <laughs> what? I look like a Karen from the back. It's actually scary. No, you don't. Okay, so it says that the leek should almost caramelize. Um, no, sorry, let me rephrase that. It says the leeks should, should oh my God. <laughs> it says the leeks should caramelize and almost Stick to the bottom of the pan. That's what it says, you guys, in the instructions. So, we're gonna let them caramelize. What if we could put this like, oh, what if we did this? You're just gonna hang it? Yeah, does it work? Um, ooh, ooh. If there was something else we could use, hmm, let me think. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine being a genius like me. All right, it's looking pretty caramelized, you guys. They're almost sticking to the bottom of the pan, just like, just like they said. Next, we're gonna be adding the potatoes. Now that these are almost sticking to the bottom. Here we go. This is a lot of potatoes. All right, you guys, now that the potatoes are coated in the leeks, it's time that we add the wine, veggie stock, um, and bay leaves, okay? So we're gonna be using this vegetable broth, you guys. Shake it up. Okay. 
You guys, this is a uh, veggie. This is veggie for all my veggies out there. This is a nice veggie, veggie meat or meal. Sorry, I didn't mean to say meat. Now that we've got the veggie stock in there, um, we're gonna add the white wine as well. And we're gonna need, let me check, one cup of white wine. So I'm gonna be using Chardonnay. Look at this, you guys. I found this at the grocery store. It's half a bottle of wine. Didn't need that much, you know, so I got half a bottle. So cute. Okay. One cup of wine. And we are also going to be adding two bay leaves. These just add some flavor and then we take them out before we blend the soup. So here they are. These are the two that I picked. These are the two bay leaves that I picked to go into my soup. Should I try this? Mmm. It's not bad. Now we are just going to wait for this to boil. So I'm actually going to turn the heat up just a little bit because we need to bring it to a boil and then we need to turn it down and let it simmer for like 20 minutes. And uh, what are we going to do for 20 minutes? We could clean. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's boiling. So that's very exciting. I'm just going to stir this around a little bit. All right, we've got to get a lid. So we're going to lower the heat a little bit so that it's simmering. Uh, put this lid on and it will cook for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes and we'll check on how it's doing. And it can go a little bit longer. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Sure, 15 minutes. And that's starting now. I'm so domestic. It's actually crazy. I do the cooking, I do the cleaning. I love my big farm sink. Look at this, cleaning sink simulator. I got bread for this meal. The bread, I got the bread. So I thought this would be, you know, nice to have with some bread. This is a nice loaf, look at that. We will broil it and make it nice and crispy. Oh, look at this. All right, y'all, I got my bread knife. Check that out. Damn, look at this bread. Mm. I'm making them thick, okay? okay. Alright. Check this out, you guys. These are bread pieces. Let me get a pan really quick. Put my oven on broil. Choose butter or oil? Oh, well. Got my bread, you guys. And I'm just gonna put it on that pan. I'll put oil on both sides of it. And put it in the oven that's on broil. It literally says serve with crusty bread. Like, who are you calling crusty? There's about four minutes left on the timer, but we do need to blend the soup as well. And I've never used my new, guys, check this out. I got this today, which I've actually really been wanting to get one of these. Um, it's an immersion blender. Um, and this was the perfect excuse to get one because we're making this soup and we have to blend it. But I've never used one before, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous to try it. I don't know quite how long it's gonna take, but after this boils and it gets all soft, we're just gonna blend everything and add a little bit of cream and then it's done. I'm putting the bread in. The timer's about to be finished. It's done. Stop. 
Okay, so we just put it for 15 minutes and it's 15 to 20. So I'm just gonna check like the tenderness of the potatoes because they're gonna need to be pretty tender, I think, to blend them. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me because the fan is on. I can definitely put a fork through them, but I actually think they could be a little bit more tender. Like, they could use like three more minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for three minutes. Sure, three minutes. And we're starting now. Let me check my bread. Really nothing has happened in there. Let me guys, oh my God, why do we even try talking? That's actually so embarrassing. <laughs> Let me show you guys something. <gasps> Look who it is. Aww. He's sleeping. He's Sleep. You want me to throw him over here? Yeah, toss him. <laughs> he's almost six. Oh my god, he's almost six. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Stop. Okay. I think they should be good now, you guys. Oh, the bread. It's fine. Oh no, I gotta flip it. I gotta flip it. Oh. Okay, it, I mean... <laughs> It's crispy. They said serve with crusty bread, so. No, it's perfect because the soup will make it soft. So you want it to be really crispy. Okay, so the potatoes are pretty soft. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And I'm also gonna show you guys what it looks like because it actually looks really good. Check that out. It's looking delicious in my very humble opinion. And the next step is to blend it. So it's not even in its final form yet. But first we have to make sure that we take out the bay leaves. Now is the moment that I have been very worried about. I'm, I'm actually really nervous. I don't know why. The, the reason why I really wanted to get one of these is because the last time I tried to blend something hot and I thought it cooled down enough, it didn't and it exploded. I'm pretty sure that I did it like for a YouTube video, didn't I? You guys remember what I'm talking about? Oh, it's perfect. It looks honestly beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ah! It's like the mannequin challenge. <laughs> Do I put it in and then... Yeah, put it in first. Don't turn the thing on first. It's fine. It's not gonna explode. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Ew, like what is that noise? This is legit wet splash. Oh! Shoot a splash? I feel like I gotta like get chunks and go down, like go down on them. We bring it back to a simmer and we add a little bit of heavy cream or coconut milk. I personally really, really, really do not like the taste of coconut. Um, it's one of my least favorite like flavors. I just feel like it's very overpowering. So I'm gonna be using cream. All right, add this in. It's definitely giving it more of like a soupy consistency. Mm. This 
is only with about a fourth a cup of cream. Oh, looks good. Should I try it? Mm hmm. You might have to you know, season. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Yum. <gasps> How did this get away with not being blended? I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. But it tastes pretty good, actually. I don't think it needs, it needs much. Wow, looks good. Okay, guys, I think it's done. People with blue eyes be like, we are going to be putting it in bowls and then on top we're putting a little bit of cream, a little bit of olive oil, uh, and red pepper flakes. Very tasty. You like it? Yeah, you did a good job. Here we go, you guys. These are the bowls of soup, but we just need to garnish them a little bit. They're looking pretty good. Mm. They are looking pretty good. So on top, we're gonna put a little bit of cream, a little bit of mm. olive oil, and we're gonna put a little bit of red pepper flakes on top as well. So mm. I'm gonna try and make this look like Good, but who knows? About it. Yes. Okay, I tried. No, that looks good. Okay, a little bit of oil. Okay. Oh God, the plating. Put a little bit of red pepper flakes. I'll put more on mine because I really like red pepper flakes. with bread and this is the soup all finished it actually looks amazing mm -hmm. um i'm very excited to try it because again i've never made this recipe before so let's try it let's try it let me get some spoons are you just gonna mix it all in yeah i think I, i'm just gonna mix it all in uh -huh. because wow. i want it to be like you don't want to just like eat the cream yeah mm -hmm. and i want the the pepper flakes are yeah, all yeah. in it. Ooh. Ooh. It better be good, you guys, because this is what I have planned to eat for dinner right now. So here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Mmm. Wow. It's actually so good. Yeah, it actually is really good. <laughs> this is delicious. So, my official review of this recipe. I think it's really, really, really good. I actually would really recommend you trying to make this if you like sweet potatoes. Mmm. It's crispy. Crispy red. Would I make it again? To be honest, yeah. Mmm. Is it like sweet? Not like particularly. As sweet as a sweet potato is with no like sugar. Mmm. 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 You did a great job. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cooking stream. We're definitely going to be doing a lot more of these in the future. So if you have any recipes that you want me to try making, then you can just tweet them at me um, or leave a comment down below. Whatever is easiest for you. I'm down to try like any recipe. I really like cooking. And uh, I'm going to go eat this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye guys.